we've come to the realization you just can't treat people like that. And it, this is a national issue, not just a Colorado issue. Well, the head of Colorado's prison system talking only with 7 News about his day in solitary confinement. He spent nearly a full day behind bars himself and writes about that very experience in a New York Times editorial today. 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez just spoke with Rick Ramish. And Tyler, he says he's on a mission. Absolutely, Kelly. He says he wants to reduce if not completely reduce, but definitely eliminate, if possible, the number of people who spend time by themselves in what used to be called solitary confinement. It's now called administrative segregation. Now, this room is actually a little smaller than the one he spent nearly a full day, and it was 7 by 13 feet. He says the lights never went out, the noise was tough, and every few hours, someone came by to check the door physically to make sure it was locked. He says it was a 20-plus hour experience that left a lasting impression. 20 hours is nothing, but, but to me, I was ready to leave and, and felt that um, I wasn't ready to ever go back and do that again. Murder in March of former corrections boss Tom Clements by a parolee, Evan Ebel, who came directly out of administrative segregation. Reforming that part of corrections has been a goal of the new chief. Raymer says it was his idea to spend a night behind bars on January 23rd. He says he came out with further resolve to make changes to the state's ad seg system. People can be put into administrative segregation without having any idea when they're going to be released, and some spend years there. It's our job to make sure that they come out better than when they came in, and I don't think administrative segregation does that. So the number of people who go directly from cells by, by themselves into the community, direct release, he hopes to have that totally eliminated from the Department of Corrections by June of this year. And he says long term, he wants to reduce the number of people in these solitary cells as much as possible. Kelly. All right, Tyler, thank you. Well, lawmakers are working on legislation to address the problem of inmates being kept in long-term isolated confinement. A bill proposes a session requires prisons to review the mental health of offenders if they've been isolated for more than 90 days.